Welcome to Expeditions, a Mud Runner game. In this episode, we're going to be out collecting new vehicles. With me, Mr. Sealy P. Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm on the hunt for vehicles. I'm trying to unlock some if I, sort of, as I go. And I've there are two I know of. I say I know of two jobs that I know of. There's the tourist one there um, that's popped up, and there's one out here for a larger vehicle. Obviously, we've got all these various different contracts. I'm on free roam on slip rock swamps. And what I'm just doing off camera, I'm going around and picking up a few different jobs here and there, doing a bit of scouting around. I just did a mission, white spots it was called, where it opened up this corner and this corner a little bit. I know there's an upgrade out here. So I'm going to sort of just try and pick up a few bits here and there. But vehicles is something I haven't unlocked any vehicles really yet. I've done maps and things like that. So I'm going to take that one on. We're going to head out, pick up this one. I'm going to try and go a bit further afield and pick up the next one if I can. Like I say, I'm, I'm using the Scout. If this doesn't work, I might grab the Tuz. But I'm, I'm, it's just a bit of... Um, Vehicle recovery, vehicle hunting, however you want to refer to it. Whichever ones I can get to, whichever ones I can get back, I will try. Doesn't work, doesn't work, but... I've done a few maps and bits and bobs here and there. I need to do more in Arizona. It's, again, it's that thing that I, I just... Because it's so big and there's so much going on and... Once you know, it does say there's about a hundred hours worth of mission play, and then there's all the side missions, all the side hustles, all the stuff that's going on, all the extra bits and bobs, you know, the bells and whistles that come with it. And you kind of then get spoiled for choice because it is that thing where you're come too far. Um, you know, what do I do first? You know, I could, I could jump from here to this, to this, to that, and you know, if you're trying to have some kind of semblance of control to what you're doing some kind of order sensible order to what you're doing it's difficult to know what route to go down next unless you just follow all the missions through to their conclusion then go on to the next things but i kind of got to a point that nope i want to get some vehicles so that's what we're doing if we can get this out we'll get it out it's a very bouldery so let's stop there for a second that let's do that. Can I reach it from there? No reason why not. Let's do that. Flip and roll over. That's the Yar 87, isn't it? I think it might be, you know. Uh no, wrong one. There we go. Uh turn on the engine. Pull it a bit. Just get out of there first. Taking myself a nice hole, that's good, isn't it? Right, head back off. Get a bit closer behind, and then I guess we'll just go for it. He says. How are we stuck already? What are we going? I don't understand what we could be stuck on. I've turned on the engine on it. That can't be right, surely. Right. That, that, let's give that a go. This is ludicrous. Stuck in the hole that I made myself, maybe? 
Really? That's what it was? Yeah. Just the hole I made. There we go, that's better. Yeah, this straightforward one. I'll take a whiz out and see if we can find that other vehicle. And the thing is that it's going to be okay. I think I need to get the drone up to a bit more searching. Maybe the metal detecting. Well, that's not great, is it? Maybe the metal detector um, as well, and try and identify more locations on the map. I've got a bit of money saved up, so I'm thinking if this does unlock this. Um, I might go and tune this up, have a bit of a, see what this is like. That's quite cool. I mean, I haven't found many upgrades yet. I'm, as I say, I've been sort of focused on getting the missions done, but I probably should be going out and searching. So, I just sort of pick up something nice and straightforward to start off with. Nothing that's going to overtax my poor little brain. <laughs> so we get on. Yes. Get reward. Unlocked a new specialist. Another mechanic. That's good. We are on free room. So what I'm curious to find now is if I do that, that, and engine off. I'm going to go back to headquarters with me £5,800 in my pocket dollars and I can cross one off my list. Uh, what I did was um, I went into the garage, went to truck store, then scrolled across and all I've done on a piece of paper, I've made a note of each of these that are greyed out. It says what can, you need to complete to get that vehicle. So down for my um yar87 oh, that's interesting because it's lost in the hills maybe i haven't unlocked it then or was that the Khan marshall that was the Khan marshall wasn't it sorry if i said the yar87 no the Khan. it's the Khan 39 marshall where tracks dare not tread so yeah so i've made a list of all these so hopefully So I just go past it. Oh, there it is. It's available. 20 grand. I'm having one of this. Yes, please. Purchased. Nice. That's pretty cool. Let's put it in my all. I'm going to do a bit of work on this. Uh, do that engine. That off. What have we got on the gearbox? High range? Do I really want a high range? Or do I leave it stock for the time being? Well, it's just a bit faster, isn't it? Well, we'll go with that. Oh, stock kit, that's all right. Tyres, what are we looking at? Good, excellent, average, bleh. average, average, average. I mean, that's probably, it's a better choice. Not much better, but it will do for the time being. So we can unlock some more stock winch. So on the scouts, it's autonomous already standard, but we've got an extended, which is also autonomous. So we'll go with that. Snorkel, haven't unlocked a high mounted. We've got a low mounted, which is better than nothing at all. So we'll go with that. Emergency reserves. We've got a medium purchased. Cool. Well, that was free anyway. Bolt on fenders. Oh, that looks rather cool. And do I want nerf bars? Haven't got side mounted racks yet. Actually, without the nerf bars, I've got a bit more ground clearance underneath that, so I think I'll leave that. I do like that design, though. Um, well, we're looking for bumpers. Reinforced bumper? 
Spare wheel mount, that's handy to have. We'll have one of them. And we'll go with the reinforced bumper for the time being. Oh, hang on, though. A rear-mounted rack adds extra slots. We'll have one of those. And a reinforced bumper. Why not? Roof. Give us a roof rack. Come on. Absolutely. Look at all those extra slots for fuel and stuff that we're going to need. I'll be able to use a different vehicle for doing scouting. That's pretty cool. Pull bar bumper. Cool, that's a bit of a... That sits quite low, though. Stock bumper. Visors. I don't know. That's quite cool, but we haven't got that yet. Good crash protection. Comes with a mount for additional resources. I'm all about those slots, people. All about those slots. Rims. I do quite like those. We'll go with those. So that's the standard. I'll have a look through. What have we got? Something bright that stands out. The problem is, I do like orange. The orange colours are quite cool. I do like them because orange stands out. And that's fine on Carpathians. But when you go onto maps like Arizona, it gets a bit washed out. It kind of disappears into that yellow, sandy colour of sort of landscape. Green is something I generally go for. If you watch my farming simulated stuff, Mr. Silly P. Green. I do like that. Well, that's quite cool. I'm going to go with that for the time being. Uh, in exterior stickers, have we unlocked any others? We've got the T-Rex. And I think we've got an emotional support vehicle. That's the only other one, isn't it, that we've got at the moment? Nope, we'll leave those off. I'm happy with that. That's all right to start off with. Um, if we go to our back to our customize and then go into that menu there, and we go to our fill slots, then we can start working out all the things we want to put in. So on our front, do I want fuel or do I want spare parts? Um, I'm going to go with the fuel. On the rear, we'll go for one fuel. We'll go for... A spare parts, then we'll go for a tyre, which I think is the other option, isn't it? There we go. We'll go for a spare on there as well, or double spares. Then roof. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, did I get a light bar? I haven't unlocked it yet, have I? Make sure I've got plenty of everything. Oh, I've got some lights. Is it just light like, yeah, Is that what I've got? I'll take that, though. Let's come back out. <laughs> Let's off-road. Awesome. Happy with that. Uh, I might use this to go and have a look for that next one. I'm going to go back onto free roam. I'm at a point now on Carpathians. Uh, the last one I just did, like I said, white spots I did, which I hasn't unlocked any more on here, but I have unlocked some more. Uh, I've got some I can do on Unshakable Island. I've got Keep an Eye on the Animals, which involves putting out a camera trap, so I might look at doing one of those. Um, I don't think I've opened anything new on Mountain Labyrinth, but we do have a little shaking and Secrets of the Depths. So we've got a couple there. That requires a scout. I might pick up one of those. That one requires off-road because we've got to do some seismic vibration. Vi vi vibration? Vibrations? Vibrating. Um, and then under Dormant Volcano, we have got Truth in the Dirt and Priceless Cargo. Um, so I've got, yeah. I just saw that. Truth in the Dirt. Whoa! 53,700? Good grief. Mind you, it's very, oh no, I t <laughs> the very hard ones <laughs> send shivers down my spine now. Anyway, <laughs> let's see if I can get another vehicle. That's the plan. Free roam, vehicle, let's go with the car and just give it a go. Do I want to take an inventory with me? I've got my autonomous winch. I might take, I've been trying to find on Carpathians the reusable anchor. I keep finding um, standard ones. There, there are probably loads out there. I'm going to put one of those in. Um, looks like we're okay for fuel, etc. And I'm probably going to go for, which I, I've been doing a lot more, um, 
so she's 30 percent oh minus 30 percent supplies consumption minus 15 damage except wills minus 15 percent fuel consumption he does actually you know what anchor plus 100 percent setup radius Mind you, though, it's 1,400. And this is a job. It will pay me if I go and pick that vehicle up. But for the reduced fuel consumption, damage, supplies consumption, could well be worth it. I'm not sure of money. I could pick up another contract at some point. You know what? Might give that a go. Uh, and then next one I'm going to do, I'm going to go with my tried and trusted operator just to give me better drone coverage and i shall deploy i want the eastern outpost because the vehicle is out there i think so we need to head out that direction it's very exciting maybe it's just me but i'm <laughs> i'm very excited let's see what vehicle we can get next all that money i've built up i'm going to end up spending on i all of it i can tell i am this vehicle might be um top heavy maybe oh that's pretty cool though. something new actually not what i do Put that and that uh we need to head i'm just thinking route wise there is an airdrop there. We just go around that somehow. Out through that gap there, probably. And round, maybe? Haven't really been out this way, yeah, we? Just thinking of where we are here. Unless we go out up over one of these and along that valley. No, we can go in and out of that. That's not a problem at all, is it? I know where I'm going there. I'll put a marker on there just so i know i'm heading that way and what i'll do when i get to here i'm going to stick the drone up to give myself a bit of mapping to see what's there i'll, I'll probably see at that point actually because we've done this little bit of drive out this is where we headed out whoa God, that was a bit sharpish off the line wasn't it oh listen to that i need to get um some more upgrades i need to get some lift kits and stuff and some of these how my life's looking. Not bad. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. Also, I'm done. Keep forgetting. Oh, has it got... Ah, oh, is it all-wheel drive all the time, or I not unlock that? Hasn't given me the option, it seems to be. Oh, maybe. Right. Here's where I'm at. We came down through there. Out the side, through to here, and I set the, set the drone up. Or sent the drone up. Did a route out to here, and got about that far. And realised that was all water. I could go around the outside. But the vehicle we're heading for is over here anyway. So we were trying to get around this sort of, I say, headland. but So we come up around the side here. And there's a valley that runs along here. Which is where we're heading at the moment. There is a bridging point here. I don't know how many parts it requires. Actually, I might... We might have to use that. It depends where we've got to take this vehicle to. Because until we get to it, we're not going to really know. I don't have to head down to that, actually. And just... Um... Because we have got spare parts, haven't we, on board? I'm going to take a quick detour. Got my lights on. It's starting to get dark, so I will skip ahead at some point. But What's he going to require? Oh, it's quite a way down, isn't it? Oh... Okay, getting back up is going to be fun, isn't it? No, 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 turn, 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 turn. Oh, not good. I do not want to bump off that. <laughs> I 
but uh, this has had a tendency to want to roll over quite badly. Oh, here we go. Stop there. How many parts do it need? Oh, yeah, we've got plenty. Let's do it. See what's occurring. Was that? Oh, to do both. Looks like it. One there, one there. That does give us easier access across this bit. It's interesting, it doesn't actually show the bridges on the maps once you've installed them, because you are going to get caught out if you forget, especially if there's lots of them around on various different maps. If you're planning a route, and you look across the map, and because it's not showing as a bridging point there, you might stop and think, oh, well, no, there's, there's no point. Mind you, that, looking over the other side of that, you're going straight up there, aren't you? So if I'm bringing a vehicle out, yeah, we'll cross there, wallop straight up that. <clears throat> Maybe not. Never mind. Let's head out to this vehicle. Um, I might just tr try and avoid rolling over. <laughs> Actually, it's not too steep on this bit. We'll turn around here. I'm loving this so far. It's a very capable machine. And the fuel economy, with having the mechanic as well, seems to be very, very good. I'm not lowering the tyre pressures or anything, we should be right to get up this. Yeah, look at that. Did we, did we, I can't remember, did we go for the high tune um, gearbox in the end? I think we might have done that. I forget. Thor, she blows. Let's see what this requires and where we've got to take it to. Just back to where we just came from. This is going to be a bit of a game. I'm not going to lie. The last little bit I just did was horrendous. <laughs> Let's do that and that. Because if we go to the map, we just came through this. This little bit here, I would have been better off coming up over the top, I think. Going that way. Um, because this little bit was a, like a rocky crag. That had not a crevasse, but had a really um, deep bit, and I basically had to drag the vehicle along with a winch. It, it was not pretty. Um, I'm just thinking... I'm just looking at other routes, really. Without coming up over the top of this, it means either following the valley up this way, which could be just as bad, through there... Well, I suppose maybe that could work. Well, that looks like we've got another one of those big craters here. I don't know. We'll have to see where it wants us to take it first. So, show task. Attempt to ford the river. We are going to follow. Of course we are. Um, deliver the sunker truck to... <laughs> to the camp. What? Where are we? You've got to be kidding me. Um, how the blazes are we going to do that? Um, I don't know. I really don't know. So if I start down one route and it turns out to be horrendous, then I'm really stuck at that point. Got it further forward. Do I seem a little disheartened?
Right, this is a bit of a jump from when you last saw me on my quest to unlock some more vehicles to go out collecting. <laughs> we got the Khan, uh, and I was going after that other lorry. Um, I'm on Dormant Volcano now. Now, I've done a few extra missions on Dormant Volcano, so I don't have any current missions available. So what I've done is gone on free roam on Slip Rock Swamps, gone from the northern outpost to the crossing point between Slip Rock and here on Dormant Volcano. So technically, I'm on free roam on Dormant Volcano, although it's not unlocked. And what I'm heading for, because I nearly unlocked it in the last... I was doing a mission on here. One of the ones on... Was it on this one? I think it was on this one. Paid 53,000. I've, I've done out... I mean, I haven't unlocked the whole map by any means, but been out and about. But anyway, uh, I was doing a job and I had to explore an area. I came up here and I had to explore this area and this became available. Now, I think that's the Yar. Um, so that's what I'm heading for. I'm in the Lodestar, 1700. Um, since on my last video of recording, um, I haven't been particularly well, uh, but that's another story. And um, mods are in the mod tub. Loads of mods in the mod tub. I, I downloaded the Goliath, um, but it's 133,000 to buy or something. It's quite expensive. Um, this Lodestar 1700 is uh, a Mr. Bus's one. I'm having weird problems every now and again with the gearbox. It seems to just stop, and I keep thinking I'm caught on something, and then all of a sudden it will go again. It's very odd, I don't know why it's doing it, but anyway, it's okay. So, potentially in this episode I will have unlocked two new vehicles. Uh, that lorry, I'll explain. Has anyone had these as well? trees like that every now and now and again you catch one and it vibrates uh, you hit some kind of harmonic resonance and it does catastrophic damage to your vehicle so the yard is up there on that cliff we need to get round to it get it down and get it back but luckily at each of these points where you can collect vehicles there's a point to start the mission near it so that's what we're going to do. There we go. Lost in the hills. Payment 5,800. We are going to follow. And it's up there. So we've got to get to it. And then get it down. Easy peasy, right? <laughs> Wrong. Like I say, I'm just really hoping it's not glitched. Because if it is, we might not be able to get it. Yeah, so the lorry... Um, again, off camera, I must have spent five hours... I went on the map, came off the map, on the map, off the map. I tried four different routes, five different routes. At one point, I managed to move it a long way. I mean, like a long, long way. Um, and then the vehicle I was using ran out of fuel. And I thought, okay, well, because I've, it's not like SnowRunner. SnowRunner, on different jobs, if you come across a vehicle that's stuck, um, and you can repair it, you can refuel it, sometimes you can just move it out of a lake or something and once it's moved it just stays there the game saves it stays there so i came back off the map came back on and it reset itself right back to the pond where i started um so i was a bit annoyed to say the least i mean that's an understatement but it is what it is so here we are let's done it again look you get near it it does that weird shake and i guarantee that thing has just melted itself into the into the rock face. If that's the case, you just you can't get out. We're about to find out, aren't we? So that, that, that. Oh, oh, we might be in luck. We might be in luck. Oh, that's so good. That was so stuck before. So the pr 
problem I've got now. So what I have it as well had. Do that. That. Um, I've had the drone. Um, cause uh, I've had two, two or three game crashes now. I had a lot of people messaging me saying, "Have you had a problem with the game crashing when you put the drone up?" And I said, "No, I've had that happen once." And then, yep, twice. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, you know what? That might be a better option. Oh, can I get it out through that gap? No, there's too many trees. I thought I might be able to get it out there and come down that bit and round. That's going to be way easier than the way I was going. I mean, hmm. Oh, trouble is, I don't want to try and be... Is that just trying to be too cute and it's going to... Oh, hang on, what about... No, got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it, I just need to turn it around. Right, that's what I need to do. I need to reposition myself. I need to turn it round. So all I've got to do... All, all I've got to do is turn it round. Once we start to lose the light, don't worry, I will skip ahead. I don't go off the cliff because that will be embarrassing. Yep, I'll go through that gap there. Got it. If I can get it to turn, of course. Right, handbrake. <laughs> you little beauty. Uh. <laughs> Don't do anything stupid, he said. Right. Will this work? I don't know. Maybe. There we go. Turn the engine when it's close behind me as possible. Because I do not want this catching on trees. The last thing I need. When I was towing that big lorry trying to get that out, if I took even slightly the wrong direction, it got hung up on a tree behind me. Once I got it wedged, I was absolutely done. I got stuck. Couldn't get it out. Tree branches. Pain of my life. There we go. Ooh. Let's make sure I don't roll it over now. Right. Now, I'm not going to lie, the drive back from here, I think I'm right fuel-wise, we've got to go to there. So we are currently up here. We've got to come down the slope we, we came up on. So down here, I'm going to try and avoid that swamp. We'll go around the edge of the swamp, follow this green bit of land round back here, cross over this point here, Follow the coastline just up there. And then we come up that nice, fairly gentle green slope up there. Doddle! <laughs> Again, he says, as long as I don't roll it. Um, at the moment, the engine's running. Oh, come on, you're supposed to reverse. When the engine's running... There we go. So it's a turn of it. Yeah, when the engine's running, it's fine. Um, if you damage it to the point where the engine packs up, again, unlike, well, unless I'm missing something, again, very obvious, on SnowRunner, you can repair other vehicles, you can refuel other vehicles, it won't let you. Um, if it goes beyond a certain point, the engine will turn off, and then you are just pulling a dead weight. It becomes unbelievably difficult. With a smaller vehicle, it's not so bad, but that big lorry, I honestly, that, I, that's going to be... I, I don't know, I'm, I'm assuming people out there have done that. They've already got it out. I don't know. But that'll be two vehicles in this episode. So 
So I'm, like I said, I'm just, it was just a case of being organised. It was working out what missions, or not what missions, they're not missions per se, finding where they are and what maps they're on, and then trying to work out <laughs> how to go about it. It's all a good find them. Let's get them back out. I think we'll be alright fuel wise. And keep it close behind me, it will turn when I turn. He says. Once we're out the swamp, should be all plain sailing. That's going rather well. And then I'll see what options we got for tuning it up. I think we might have an airdrop just past here. I don't, I've got spare fuel, I shouldn't need to refuel, but just in case. And like I say, I'm, I'm I don't know if, if you're supposed to take these back to workshops, or... I, I can't see how you can repair them. Because, like, sound like SnowRunner, you can't... There's no menu. Normally you would press up on the D-pad, open up that menu to the left on SnowRunner, and then you would just access, you know, the next vehicle, change vehicle, that kind of thing, but... Yeah, no, no. It's going to be one of those again, something really obvious. Something I've missed, but it's all right. So what I did find on here, going round, I think it was on this one. Turn off that engine, um, and then just disconnect that for a second. I found onyx and rubies on this map at different airdrops. I think I took four off one of the contracts of one of the missions I was doing. As I went round, I picked up. Two onyx, two rubies. Or well, might have been three rubies and one onyx. Twenty-six grand on top of the contract price I got paid. So I'm absolutely having that. Um uh, you know what? I am gonna refuel. Because why not? Go, turn the engine. It's worthwhile because actually there's an airdrop not far away from where the um, where I've got to deliver this vehicle. Can I get out through the trees down here? I think so. Just need to get it down to the beach, really. Providing this thing doesn't roll over into the water. And here we go, last push. Pull. <laughs> Eight thousand four hundred. There you go. Item sold. So that onyx and the anchor. The anchor's not worth very much at all. But two thousand six hundred, just for one bit of onyx. Result. Let's have a look at this vehicle then. Let's go to our garage. We want to go to. Should be unlocked now. Oh, there you go. There you go. That's one of the mods. That's the Goliath. And the one I was just using was. That one there, Lodestar 1700. I'm sure it's Mr. Buses. That unlocked before, the Khan Marshal. So we should have, there we go. 50 grand, but we're just over 400,000, so we can afford it. Let's purchase a yar. And let's have a look and see what we can do to it. I'm going to have a fiddle around, see what we can tune this up to oh standard engine i've got more to more to find on that gearbox oh blimey looks like everything's gonna be stock 
Actually, now's a good time as any, seeing as I was in there looking at the options for the YAR before I do my kind of final bit. And in light of what I've been doing in the episode, going out and trying to collect vehicles to unlock, um, is the Mod Hub and the Mod Browser. The Mod Hub, Mod Browser, um, is a very, very cool thing. And I said when I was doing my pre-launch stuff, there was a couple of bits in there. At launch, there was nothing in there. Over the last 24, 48 hours, it's come alive with mods and things. Now... I'm, I'm playing devil's advocate here. It's a very cool thing. It's cool to have mods, but I'm going to say this. On SnowRunner, it was a long time before we got mods on console. It was always promised. We were told we were going to get it. I was also told when I was playing SnowRunner by loads and loads of people in my comments, it will never happen. You'll never get mods. It's a PC game, blah, blah, blah. And we got mods on console. Loads and loads of them. Tons and tons of them. But you had to play the game for a long, 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 long time before those mods became available. Unless, of course, you got into the game much, much further down the line, in which case there were already mods available. And you know. um, My question I'm putting out there is, has the mod hub began to fill up too soon after launch? Because my question is as well after that, considering what I've been doing in this episode, going out and now I've decided let's go and search out these vehicles that at the moment are all locked. And if you're a completionist and you want to make sure I've unlocked and done everything I can do on there, you're still going to do it anyway. But my, my worry is that those two vehicles I've unlocked in this episode, the Khan Marshal and the um, Yar, um, are now obsolete. All of those vehicles that you can then go and look for and drag back and, like I say, the lorry one that I spent hours trying to get back and I couldn't do it. Maybe when I'm further down the line, I've got a bit more experience, maybe more accessories, upgrades, more stuff, I'll be able to do it easier. Are they now all obsolete? If we can just jump into the mod browser, and I'll show you, this is the mod browser at the moment on PlayStation 5. And um, we've got quite a few now. I have already downloaded, and I'm not. I'm not saying I don't agree with the mod hub. I've got mods downloaded. I'm, I'm using that one already. I'm using it. All I'm saying is, is it too soon? And will it make the the vehicles you've got to go and search for obsolete? If you can just come in here, click on one, and download it. I thought, you know what? I'm going to install the Goliath, because if I can use the Goliath to go and get the other vehicle out, I'll use it. Um, I don't know. Like I say, it's it's um. It's a double-edged sword, really. I love the mod tub. I love the cool stuff. I love being out, you know, off camera. I'll grab a vehicle and just, on especially on the maps, you've got free roam. Just tonk around the map. If you're going to do it to go around and try and find new locations, find upgrades, and you don't want it to be horrendous, the journey, then you're going to grab a mod and make your life a lot easier. But if you still want the challenge, and this goes back to SnowRunner as well, that kind of base game stuff challenge I still think is is a massive. That's the game. That's the massive part of the game. Um, so I don't know. I just thought I just thought I'd mention it. You know that kind of. Are they obsolete? Are they not? Like I say, I'm not in any way. I don't want people to start spamming the comments and getting angry with me. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with mods at all. I love mods. I think they're absolutely brilliant. But have they appeared too soon? That that we haven't experienced enough of the game on hard mode, you know what I mean? And again, everyone's got the choice. You don't have to use mods. So I suppose the thing about it is you just skip past that, you know? If you still want to experience it in proper hard mode, if you still want to experience it using all the base game stuff, just skip past the mod browser, go up and carry on. Um, I, I guess that's the thing about it, isn't it? It's there if you want it. You don't have to use it. No one's forcing you. If you don't agree with mods, that's absolutely fine. Don't use them. I just thought I'd throw that in there. So here we are, our two unlocks for this episode. This is the first time I've done this. Two vehicles. It's got trucks nearby and trade, which I've never have I haven't done before. So if we trade now, we can change truck. So here's our new one. We do need some bigger tires and stuff like that. I mean they're fairly standard tires, but I've got as, as much fuel and spare parts as I can possibly carry on this all wheel drive six wheel drive beastie big old crash protection on the front nice bright colour so you can't miss it I'm happy with that two new bits of kit to be trying out let's 
sounds sounds meaty, doesn't it? Got a light bar on the front as well, which is pretty good. So I would have to use this in anger for something. Not sure what yet. Like I say, the maps are so big. I know I keep referring back to this thing again, but it's that thing of um, SnowRunner is very prescribed in that you've got roadways and trackways, and although you can drive anywhere, you do to you do tend to default back to the main paths and tracks because it's an easier route when you're taking cargo and you you know that kind of thing. And when I said at the start of playing this game, this was very linear. It was linear in the fact that you did this mission, then this mission, then this mission, and it was leading you down a very particular path. As far as it goes for the rest of it, there's no, <laughs> there is no path. <laughs> you go anywhere and everywhere, and it is staggeringly good. I'm, I'm still just having the best time playing this. Apart from that lorry one, actually, what I'm going to do. Let's um, turn the engine off and do that. So if we go back to our map before I finish off on this episode, um, we were where? Over here. So that's where it is. So you'll be able to see where I've unlocked. I tried to go up this channel here, and I was going to bring it down the hill. It says shortcut. Bring it down the hill and try and see if it was a crossing here to get across to this point. Because the weird thing is, when you take on this job, and it tells you you need to deliver it back to here. However, the point here is also highlighted at the eastern outpost, and the point here is also highlighted. So I wasn't sure if it absolutely had to go back to that one or not. So anyway, um, got down to there. Twice I tried that route. And it came skidding down the hill, got stuck in the trees, nightmare, had to reset. I then tried along this one here. Absolutely no way. Put the drone up. It was way too rocky. Couldn't get the vehicle over it. Absolute nightmare. I came up here, tried to go along there. Same thing. These rocks that go in that direction, up there, it kept getting um, bottoming out on. So I came up over the top here. I came down this side. I drove it through here, got it over here, I came down there, I got it along this shoreline, and I crossed over here. And then I ran out of fuel. <sighs> and that was when I thought, okay, well, I'll go back to the garage. When I came back onto the map, it wasn't here anymore. It had reset itself all the way back to there again. Um, I tried to go up this canyon way a little bit. I just honestly, that that one, like I say, if you've done that, you're some kind of uh, miracle worker. I, I really don't know. I really don't. But there is so much of these maps. Again, when you play on SnowRunner and you use the watchtowers or use the radar, and the radar shows up all the things. So it will, it will do its spin and it will show you where the upgrades are. So you can just, you can go out to them doesn't do that on here so finding upgrades you you have got to absolutely scour the map or maps should i say and i am barely scratching the surface at the moment barely but anyway we unlocked it that's the main thing we've got it we can have a fiddle around with it have a bit of play with it and we'll see where we go from there I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.